Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time to design something useful in Tinkercad and 3D print it out. My aunt has a paddle board and she used a valve key in order to tighten the valve. However, as she did that, she broke the key and came to me with the problem and I thought, let's first check if we can get this on the internet for cheap. The only things I found was a repair kit for $20 or letting it ship in from the UK, which is also not an option. Unfortunately, nobody else has done something like that, at least not that I could find, so we're just gonna solve the problem ourselves. Now the key looks simple enough so I decided this is the perfect example for something useful in the 3D printing world. Let's go ahead and start with a cylinder. The cylinder needs to be 30 by 30 millimeters, something along these lines. I also want it to have more sides. Let's go with 40, that seems to be round enough. Next up, I want to make sure this is high enough. We're gonna need 20 millimeters for the top part of the key, but there's also like a flat surface. And I want the flat surface to be one centimeter. So overall, we're gonna go 30 millimeters. Then we're gonna add another cylinder. This bad boy needs to be 20 in height. This is gonna be the cavity that we poke out of the initial cylinder. I want this to be, let's see, the edges. I want to be about two millimeters. This is also gonna add up because my print prints in 0.4 millimeter thickness and that adds up to 2 millimeters. So that means we have 30 millimeters, we want 26 millimeters to get this effect. Great, let's put it in here and bring it up just to where we need it, like there. And let's make sure these are all centered and nice. Beautiful! Now we can actually grab both of them and combine them. So the hole is poked out and we still have a flat surface of 1 centimeter. Let's go ahead and put this approximately here, that seems about right, and then we're gonna go ahead and do the handle, I would say. I'm gonna take a cube for that, and we're gonna make it one centimeter in height, approximately, and let's see with the width, I'm not sure yet. Yeah, probably two centimeters is fine, to be honest with you. Let's go ahead and make this a little bit longer, and we're gonna push it all the way until it is in the center, something along these lines. Maybe we can even align this, to be honest with you. Let's go ahead and use the align tool. We want it to be in the perfect center. And I'm gonna make the handle about 100 millimeters or so. This should be enough for a hand to grab it. The original handle is about 12. But you know, adding two centimeters to that is gonna substantially increase the amount of time I have to print. Also, the longer the handle, the more unstable it probably becomes because you grip it further back to get a better leverage, but you know, the print material is pretty weak. We will have to print it quite densely. Anyways, uh, for the time being, let's go ahead and combine these two bad boys. And, oh, I see, I do not really want that. Something went wrong here. We weren't exact with our measurements. Let's see what happened here. We are 10 millimeters, that's actually good. Let's maybe go with 9 millimeters. At the bottom, we are perfectly fine. So if we combine this, you can see the bottom shapes disappear and now the top shapes have disappeared as well. Great, now we just have to make the dents here. Should be easy enough, I think. The gaps in between the dents are actually two millimeters in size. So let's go ahead and try to accomplish that. We're gonna do a two millimeter wide thingy majingy and I want this to be, hmm, let me actually measure that. How long are the dents or the gaps? They are approximately one centimeter, so half of the thing. That means I'm gonna go ahead and make this one centimeter. There we go, and oh, where did I bring it? Uh, maybe now we can use the align tool again. Align, I want it to be in the center and at the top. There we go. Cool, so this is gonna be one of my dents. I'm gonna actually bring it a little bit forward and then I'm gonna make sure it's extending towards the other side as well. Now, I feel like uh, something's wrong here. Hmm, maybe it is not two millimeters, but five millimeters. Let me check. Oh yeah, I'm such an idiot. The dents are actually five millimeters. So let's make sure we are expanding this and we want to realign it to the center. Great stuff. What is next? Now we need to rotate this part so that we have an even number of dents. I want to have six dents overall. That means we need to turn 60 degrees every time in order to get a regular pattern up to 360. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna grab this Control D in order to duplicate and then we wanna make sure we grab this handle and we bring it to 60 degrees, something along these lines or exactly along these lines. And then we're gonna duplicate it once more in order to get the third one. Great, we select everything and group them up. So there we go, we have our key. Now the only thing that's missing is kind of a nice 
bottom. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Just make it a little bit stronger, you know? The bottom is about 5 centimeter in the design that I have, but maybe that might be a little bit too much. Well, let's see what we end up with if we do that. Uh, actually, that's not too bad. Hmm, I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna go with 4 centimeters to be honest with my design. Yeah, that's gonna be good enough. Alright, so we have it in the perfect center. That seems to be alright. We're gonna group these bad boys together and we have our completed key. Now, of course, I'm not 100% sure that it's going to work. I just went with the measurements I had there. But still, it's a good idea to go ahead and print this out in order to see what happens. So, enjoy the time lapse. And there we go, we have our printed out key, I'm pretty happy about the results, I'm going to test it within the next few days when I see a paddleboard to even test this on, at the moment I don't have access to one, so once I tested this and it is a working design, I'm actually also gonna load it up to Thingiverse so you can download it in case you have the same problem. But with that out of the way, thank you so much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed it, have a great time and see you soon, bye bye.